What if you could forecast illness, like the weather, knowing exactly when and where illness will strike? Introducing Sick Weather, the real-time Doppler radar for sickness. in the emergency room my third year of med school and one particular night I saw back-to-back -back patients one had a jammed finger she had printouts from uh, the internet saying like oh this is why your finger is broken turns out finger was fine she was able to move it totally okay we sent her home with no x-rays or anything the very next patient was someone who had a f ulcer on their foot from diabetes and had become infected and now was spreading throughout the body and we had to tell him we had to amputate his leg in the morning. And he too had these pronouncements on the internet and he was like, you know, this is why you should not amputate my leg. And what was really shocking here was that you had kind of back to back two scenarios where one person came in way too early or like should not have come at all. And then you had a person who came in way too late. They should have been here 20 years ago to have their diabetes controlled. And both of them were like still turning to the internet and that kind of like made me think, oh wow, you know, in the emergency room, you, you kind of assume that you're the front line of medicine, but you find out very quickly that no, um, actually it's the internet. So having seen the way people were drowning in this ocean of bad medical information, we set out to build something that might actually help, though we knew it wouldn't be easy. Every day I come in thinking that I'm working on a really hard problem. Um, the problem I'm working on um, is so multifaceted. First of all, how do you make a machine think and reason about the human body? Second, how do you make humans accept and trust a machine that doesn't have eyes, that can't feel them, to give them advice about their own bodies. And I think I take the most pleasure out of reasoning about that problem itself. My dad had a TIA, which is a mini stroke. He was on the treadmill, uh, felt weak, um, like had like droop in his face and he slurred his speech and then he didn't know what to do and no one around him knew what to do. He told me like months later. And um, I was like, why didn't you call me? And he was like, well, you were on call at the time. And I was like, why didn't you Google it? And he was like, what am I gonna find on Google? And so why buoy? if we're successful, we can completely change not just healthcare, but the livelihoods of people and like how well they live because they'll know what to do They'll know when to go to the doctor, they'll know when to not go to the doctor, they'll know how to take care of themselves. And that's just incredibly powerful and I can't imagine like a better reason to go to work or a better reason to like sacrifice weekends or a better reason to like not sleep than thinking about the number of people that would be affected in a positive way is enormous. This is awesome.
Hi, my name is Itzel and I'm part of the quality care team here at HealthUp. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to schedule a virtual appointment with your doctor in HealthUp. You may use a computer, smartphone, or a tablet. To begin, make sure you have our app installed or simply open up a web browser. You can use Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, or Chrome. Next, go to healthup.com and sign up for an account or simply log in if you've used HealthUp before. Once you're logged in, search for your doctor and go to their virtual practice homepage. Now you are on your doctor's virtual practice page where you can send them a message, schedule a virtual appointment, or do a live video consultation if your doctor is currently online. To schedule an online visit, please select Virtual Appointment then choose a date and time from your doctor's virtual office hours. You're now asked to enter a description of what you would like to consult with your doctor about. Make sure to include a specific question for your doctor to address. After entering your question, you'll need to fill out some basic information. You may include any attachments that you'd like the doctor to review. add any other additional information about yourself, and then select your preferred pharmacy where you'd like to pick up any prescribed medications after the consult. Once you're done finalizing all of the details, select Continue. Now, you're taken to the payment screen. You may choose to enter your credit card or PayPal information. Once you've entered your credit card information, it will be saved to your account so that you don't have to fill it out for future appointments. Your appointment has now been successfully scheduled. Here, you can review the date and time. Remember that you can cancel your appointment for a full refund up to 24 hours before your scheduled time. You'll be notified by email 24 hours before the appointment. We recommend that you log on to your HealthUp account 10 minutes before your scheduled time to make sure that you're all set up. You may be asked to download and install a plugin before you can start your virtual consult. Once the plugin is installed, a pop up will prompt you to the virtual consult when it's time for your appointment. We want to make sure that you have a delightful experience and are able to easily connect with a doctor for your healthcare needs. If you have any questions, email us at support at healthtop.com or call us at 650 376 6110. Thank you for using HealthTap!